In the last video, we initiated a backup of the entire NetBackup server. So, in other words, since we didn't have any NetBackup clients yet configured, we used the NetBackup server to back itself up. So, the server is itself a client of the NetBackup server. That's a little town twisting, but... I think you 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 got it. And we left off where the machine first encountered looking at the details of the backup. It first encountered some kind of problem with media A001 or tape 1 and then it found an error. It requested a new tape. It was granted and it initiate it mounted tape 2 began writing. We were looking at the progress here. This was at zero and we left 0% complete, but we had already seen 15,000 files written and like 4 gigs of data. Now it said at end writing, the writing time was 5 minutes. 5 minutes for this much data is pretty impressive and the requested operation was completed successfully. So let's go ahead and close this. Notice there's lots of details up here. And so let's, and also on the job overview. Let's go ahead and close this and come back to our console. Now, we went to the activity monitor and we were looking at the green running man, meaning running jobs. Again, we see a little blue man, meaning that it was successfully completed. One thing we didn't look at before, which is on a side note, is the demons or services. All these are services running that keep net backup functioning perfectly. This is more of an advanced topic we'll get into later and the various processes. So let's go back to jobs and let's move away from activity monitor back to backup archive and restore. In the last video, we focused on check clicking on the backup tab where we checked everything and backed up the entire server. Notice the blue check marks everywhere. Now we'd like to click on restore where we can restore something. And in this case, we could highlight this and delete this and specify something in particular we would like to uh, restore. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to our client. And delete something and try to restore it. Let's go to the desktop. And on the desktop we have various folders. Let's go into the net backup downloads directory. Let's clear the screen and do a ls and see we have this LTT file. This was this RPM. This was the essential driver file. So let's go ahead and remove that file. Let's remove LTT RPM. And it's asking me if I'm sure remove this regular file with a question mark. I'm going to say yes and hit enter. And now if I do a ls I see I have this bash file, I have this tar file, and I install this file, but I don't have this RPM file, so it's pretty much gone. Let's see if we could come over here and restore it. First, let's see the directory of where I'm located. I'm in root, so let's go ahead and copy that and paste it in here. If we hit enter at this point, we'll see 
the contents being listed here on the right hand side. If I stretch this out, I'll see bash hp install and the rpm file. This is the missing file. So if I bring both windows onto the screen at the same time, we'll see that here is where the file was deleted from in this location which we specified here as the browse directory to restore and we would like it to put it back there so if I went ahead and checked this box by this RPM file, the missing RPM file and I click on restore it asks me if I want to restore everything to its original location or if I want to restore it somewhere else if I click here, I could tell it to restore it to slash TMP, for example. And I could say start restore. And it says the restore is successfully initiated. Do you want to view the progress? I'll say no. I'll go ahead and check it again. And right now, I could hear the tape being loaded into the tape drive by the robot and I am going to initiate a second restore and this time I'll restore it back to its original location so if I hit start restore and yes I want to view the progress I'll go to activity monitor and just look at the details of this and I see it's it says needed, it hasn't done it as yet. If I come up here and I do a long listing again, I see it's not yet there. If I list inside of temp, I see it's also nowhere in here. So let's go ahead and clear the screen again. And if I do ls, it's missing from here. If I do ls to temp, it's also not in here. So, let's go ahead and say ls star dot rpm. Separate the command by a semicolon. Slash tmp. Slash star dot rpm. We see no such file or directory, no such file or directory. When this is finished, we should get a different result. We still see it says zero completed. Let's move this one aside and go to the second one, which I believe may have been the first one that was initiated. And we see it's positioned. It needs the same media on the Altrium 2 tape drive, the A002. This one has already gotten to the path name of the file, the RPM file. So this is closer to 100% completion. We should expect this one at any minute now. And then it should initiate this one. Let's go back up to our window and let's hit the up arrow and list it again. And we see one of them has been returned to temp. And that's it for this video. We're out of time, but I believe uh, you've gotten the idea of how this is supposed to work. So we've installed, configured, backed up, and restored a uh, file to a different location and pretty soon to its original location. And that's it for the introduction to Net Backup. In the next set of videos, we will look at more advanced uh, ways of using that backup. And we see it's 100% completed now. 100% complete. We can go ahead and close this. If we look here, we see the second blue man. And if we issue this command one last time, we expect to see the two red files. One was put back in temp, and one was put back